mofer, right? Then there are direct mofers. And that's what we're going to talk about today with uh, the, the guru of the golden letter, Mr. Scott Carpenter. So if we can spotlight Scott, I am going to I am going to do my very best to make it through the next 20 minutes without mentioning his amazing hair more than five times. Uh, and so Scott, um, I'm going to, I'm going to drop this, uh, drop this screen so we can uh, get you up on the, up on the big board for everybody. Um, would you start uh, just by telling us uh, a little bit about yourself, how long you've been with KW, what, um, what uh and what you've done with your business since being here all right i've been here for uh about well this will be i'm actually uh closing in on three years so i did i did start in 19 however i really didn't start my business until um the until january of of uh, 2020 great timing right <laughs> um but anyhow um uh since then um you know i've been gradually growing the business and i and i have to have a um, i have to shout out give a big shout out to a couple of uh, people, and that's number one. Uh, Terry Chimileski uh, introduced me to maps, and um, and I got into maps um, quite frankly because I I knew I could do this business, but I needed a uh, I needed more than the red book. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and and uh, Terry was fantastic um, at introducing me to maps, and I've gotten into maps, and now I have a maps coach. Um, who is out of, uh, he, he and his wife have a number of market centers in, uh, in New Jersey, and Jay Ritchie. And, um, and Jay uh, has really done, and, the, and all of the coaching um, other uh, clients of his, um, I've learned a tremendous amount from uh, those folks. And by the way, um, I have to say, let's go back to the beginning of being with this particular market center. And, and say that we have a tremendous coaching uh, team. And I can't say enough about those guys as well. I learned an awful lot from them. So getting into maps really though was what I needed personally to get my business in order. And quite frankly, with, with uh, the pandemic, um, I needed a lot of support. So um, that's been tremendous. And I, I'm in the breakthrough level. So it's $450 a month. Um, and at the time that I started that, I was also paying for leads from Zillow and other lead sources. And I just, and I just stopped doing that when I got into maps coaching. Wow. And um, one of the things that I did early on, um, which is what the topic of today is, um, in addition to doing all of our you know, normal bold stuff, you know, getting in touch with lots of people and having lots of conversations about real estate and life, um, I, I started getting into what you're, what you're describing as a mofer. And one of those things that I've been doing um, is the golden letter. Um, you know, we have to, we, I realized, you know, I had a lot of buyers and yeah. I wasn't marketing my buyers. And I decided, well, I'm going to market my buyers. I sold a house, um, $325,000 cash and investment property. And I decided I would, um, again, through coaching, support through coaching. Hey, Scott, why don't you try this? And, mm -hmm. I, um, and I wrote a golden letter to investors in that neighborhood where I had sold that $325,000 triple triplex. And the, the golden letter was pretty simple. Uh, would you be interested in selling your investment property to a client of mine? I recently sold a triplex for $325,000 cash. More than 20 investors toured the property and seven offers were made, all above the asking price of $310,000. If you'd like to talk, call me, 216, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so had... so in, this, in, the, in the market of the last 12 months, it feels like everybody's had a bunch of buyers and it's almost uh, something that you would bemoan. Like, oh, I have so many buyers. And through coaching, you were able to identify that those buyers are actual, could actually be used as leverage. That's right. right? You know, I did that with the golden letter. And I also did that, I, I put that golden letter, not just this one, but when, you do, when I do circle prospecting, when I knock on doors, it's on the back of 
the just listed or just sold flyer. Um, I have clients or I had, you know, I had offers on the house up the street that I just sold. Um, and uh, I have that, um, you know, I, I can call those clients, um, those buyers today, if you're interested in selling. So I'm having conversations around marketing my buyers. Mm -hmm. So Scott, I mean, that almost seems too simple. Right. Like, is that, I mean, is that, has that always been just the, the, the short, sweet, tight, simple letter or was your first one more verbose and it wasn't getting read or, or, or you know, was. No, uh, no, no. The simplest letter is, would you be interested in selling your home to a client of mine? And that I hand wrote. Okay. <laughs> Cause I don't want to write any more than that. If I'm going to write 200 of these. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Every one of these was personalized by the way. So if I, I did a little bit of research and got as many names as I could, both for that investor letter and for the, you know, and for the circle prospecting that I would do, um, they're as personal as I can make them. And if I could, if I could write them a small note card, I did that. Nice. So that it's, uh, so is there anything that you're doing? You're putting that in the mail. You know, I think I've seen some things where it goes in a red envelope or it goes in a gold envelope or. Not no, I personalize, no, I personalize it. I put my own personal return address on it so that if it doesn't get delivered, it gets back to me. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and I do, um, I, I can say that I had, uh, on that particular letter, um, I've done over seven deals. So you sent that- I sent this out once. Once, to, to how many recipients? About, about 250 investors. So a 3%, not even response rate, deal rate. I did. And, and by the way, a, a lot of that, now let's, let's be clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't expect this to work unless you are prepared to answer the call. <laughs> and when you do, make sure that you have the conversation you need to have. So what's that my, conversation? My conversation is very simple. First of all, I'm going to find out who they are. What, you know, tell me more about your property, right. blah, 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 right? I want to find out what kind of an investor they are first, right? And then I say, so how can I help? And then they go, well, wait a minute, I'm calling you because you had buyers. And I said, yeah, exactly. So when can we get together? Mm -hmm. And my whole thing is about setting that first appointment and getting in the door and having, then having an in-person conversation with investors. And, and when I'd done that, um, every single time I've gotten listings out of it. Wow. Now, how many of those listings, because you're, you're coming to the conversation saying, I've got a buyer, right? And, and how, many, how many times are you getting this person who's like, well, where's your buyer? I don't want to list. Where's your buyer? Yeah. yeah, no, that's, so here's my job. My job is to find out whether or not your listing with me is going to be, if I'm going to have a buyer, that's going to be, be a match for that. Mm -hmm. that's it that's why i'm here today to find out whether or not this is a match for one of my buyers and invariably i can say absolutely it is it is a match the question is is will my buyer be interested in your particular house and at that point we're listing the house so it doesn't really matter i've, I've listed the house before i've left that before i've left right right so you're you, you are it's it's a, it's an above board conversation you're not saying you've got buyers that mm -hmm. would be interested that actually aren't you have that yeah. it's just whether or not you have buyers that are interested in buying properties <laughs> that's an honest statement exactly and is it a match here and hey listen my job is now to get you the best price for your for your listing and whether it's my buyer or any others Exactly. And keep in mind, I'm creating relationships with, with investors who are also buyers. Who are also buyers. <laughs> who are also buyers. So, so, so it's just a matter of, well, you know, I've got, I, again, I'm marketing my buyers mm -hmm. and I'm adding to my buyers list with every one of these conversations. Right. Oh, wow. By so the way, and by the way, I don't, effect there. yeah. And by the way, I, I wasn't afraid to list all of your buyers, you out there in, in <laughs> right. I wasn't afraid to do that because I knew that you also had buyers. Mm -hmm. And if I needed to reach out to all of you at the market center, that was easy. 
Yeah, what a great piece of leverage, right? So yeah, and I, I just took the approach that maps and gold will teach you, which is they're gonna list with somebody. It might as well be me. <laughs> might as well be you. So you've had success with the initial run. Have you repeated? Have you expanded your footprint? Have you? Yes. Uh, okay. So no. what's what's yeah, what's I've done, the I've evolution done, here? I've done. I I counted them up. I in the last um, year I've done uh, eleven deals. Eleven and more are coming. So because they're, you know, they kind of beget each other. So I, I sold, I sold um, a, a bunch of houses to a, a cash buyer from out of town. Well, now that cash buyer's on the hook. And oh, by the way, I'm working on bringing the agent into KW. Oh, <laughs> how convenient. <laughs> so, so, but the point is, is that, is that, um, you know, you, this is a, this is, this is like follow-up 101, right? So once you, once you have, uh, initiated a conversation, have gotten in relationship with somebody who's a potential client. Um, the question is, is how quickly can you make them a client? And so now I'm working not only for them, but I'm working for all the other interested investors in this case that we're talking about. And, um, and, that, and that's put me in the middle of all of that, which has really turned out great this year. Well, and when you, and when you move from a uh, when you move through that relationship in the way that you do, you you move from being a realtor to their realtor, right? Yeah, let's be clear. It's I, I think of it much more um, than just a realtor. Sorry, I don't mean to. No, 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 no. I, I love this. But you know, listen. This is about for me. I I I think of this as wealth building, and I I consider this kind of like financial advising, right? Hmm. Um, and by the way, I don't, I don't profess that I'm a financial advisor, but like we were talking about earlier in terms of creative financing and things like that, right. you know, I can open up the box and I can say, Hey, I can send, I can put you in touch with somebody who can help, help you with that. Whether it's, I mean, we were talking about title, for example, you know, mm -hmm. um, my investors, um, should be getting, you know, some discount on, on title work, for example. So I immediately, you know, make sure they are. Hey, are you getting are you getting um, a discount with the title company when you're selling? You're not. Well, let me put you in touch with a title company. They'll help mm -hmm. you with that. So I become their resource in that way, and 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 that that's super important to them, obviously, because you know margins are everything for investors. Yeah, yeah. So if we were gonna, um, if you were gonna. Uh, coach me on, on my next step or, or give me the next step. So I, at once just send the letter, right? Was, now, was there, a, did you have a barrier? Were you like, ah, I can't believe I'm actually going to do this. I don't know if I want to, you know, it's $125 in stamps, right? No, like, I was saw, there any sent, limiting belief around this? No, 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 no. I sent out 500 letters at a time. There was, and, and by the way, I have to say, I have not been doing it lately and I'm kicking myself because I need to be getting back into it. But Nevertheless, or and I will be, um, the, the, and I, so I appreciate you bringing this up because yeah. it made me reflect on, okay, so this is how I actually did that and how, you know, how to rinse and repeat, right? So start out by, start out by getting, you know, getting a targeted list. Is it, is it going to be in a neighborhood that you're selling houses in? Yes. In my case, it's easy if I do it that way, because I do have like, right now I just sold a house. Um, I had 11 offers on it. And you can be damn sure I'm going to market every one of those offers, even though they're not my buyers. Right. Okay. Um, and so number one, I'm going to, I'm going to hit that neighborhood, both with the golden letter and knocking on doors. Right. And, and then I'm going to be very clear about what I just said to you guys about dialogues and scripts so that I'm not all over the place. Right. Mm -hmm. The number one thing I need to do is, is set up an appointment with them. Until I can set up an appointment and meet with them, I can't really learn about where my opportunity is. So you don't get the opportunity at the door or on the first phone call, you set the appointment. Don't try to talk your way through all of the, you know, scenarios, objections and everything else. Just handle the one objection to have the appointment. Just get the appointment, okay? Everybody write that down. <laughs> uh, because it is, it is such a tempting thing, right? We are problem solvers, right? We want to, and, and we, you know, we, we, we got a live one on the line. They called us, 
Let's sell this the answer, house when they, when they And when they give you the objection, well, you know, I, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Or, you know, I, I, I not, wasn't really thinking about selling my house. You ask a powerful question. Hmm. And you say, well, what would it mean to you if you did sell your house today for $350,000? And then they answer. And they go, and then you say, well, and that's why we should meet. Why don't we at least, why don't you at least, you know, consider it? So why don't we meet and I can show you how we can get this done. And then when they say, well, I, I, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go if I do sell my house? And you say, well, that's exactly why we should meet. Yeah. So that I can show you how that's not gonna be a problem. So when can we meet? What time is good for you? Three o'clock today or four o'clock tomorrow? So good. <laughs> so right. good. So how, uh, and I, I want to, you know, I know we're talking about golden letters here, but you brought up something that we talk about a lot, um, which is, you know, this shift in the market, it, we're going to move, it was a speed based market for the last uh, 18 months, right? It's like, who could get their person in fast and who, you know, who could write the offer and who could write the biggest one to take it off the market. We're moving into a skill based market. And you brought up your dialogues. Right, which I know is a is a is a core pillar of the uh, Maps coaching experience. But how um, was there a moment where you where you realized like, oh, I'm, oh, this really works, or I'm taking this seriously, or I need to sharpen my saw around dialogues because I had seven people call me and I didn't get a single appointment. Yeah. Well, um, first of all, Michael, I believed I was excellent at all of this. <laughs> And the fact is, is that I wasn't. Mm. What I learned is that I do have actually a natural ability, but the problem is, is that I wasn't saying the right things. I wasn't getting the appointment because I wasn't, I wasn't closing on the appointment. Ah. The fact is, is that as we know, that you know, if you get the appointment, then you have a much, much higher chance of getting the listing. So I refocused my uh, my scripts on getting the appointment. My dialogue was on getting the appointment and doing all the pre-qualification, finding out all that you can about a person and their situation in that initial phone call. So that when you go into that conversation, when you meet with them, you're having a, a, a really valuable conversation to them around what their needs are. And at that point, you're really just saying, how can I help? Yeah. yeah you, it, when you ask the right questions in the pre-qualification for any appointment, right? listing appointment, buyer consultation, uh, you, and, and any. You just froze. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say something while you're frozen. If anybody, is everybody hearing me? Okay. Language of sales. It's coming on, uh, MAPS is putting on language of sales training um, coming up. And I, I don't have the date in front of me, but I noticed that it's coming up again. I recommend it highly. I did it last year. It was a spectacular program. It's done over a number of weeks and you will learn a lot. Um, if you are serious about this business, um, I can't recommend it more highly. Um, it really is a terrific uh, you know, uh, way to, to learn about how to have impactful conversations with people. Um, so, you know, I, I felt like I was doing it naturally, and I think I do. Um, I do the natural downswing. I do the close. Um, but, but I wasn't doing it with as much, you know, power behind it. And, you know, I do want to be helpful. So how do I motivate people to, you know, get to a point where they are making a really great decision for themselves, right? And language of sales really did help with that. So, um, yeah. Mike, you're back on. <laughs> I'm back on. I'm back on. Sorry about that. I don't know where I cut out, but you know uh, what it was? It was all the. It was all this. The chat was in the. <laughs> getting excited. Getting excited. I mean the pre. But I mean you know using that phone call you know to make a really impactful appointment, right? It sounds like was the was the lesson learned. Pre qualify, get an understanding of what their concerns or objections are going to be, and then demonstrate an understanding of that reality in person. You're going to form trust immediately. Yeah. Yeah, and use and use, um, you know, a couple of things. First of all, presuppositions. Hmm. Um, you know, use. Uh, in other words, uh, meet them where they are. So if you if you if you get the sense that 
you know, that they understand something, you know, just say, well, of course you do. So you say something like, um, uh, well, of course you, of course, you know, given your experience. So you just patted them on the back. You just let them know that, that you think highly of them. And then you, and then you, then you, you know, launch into whatever it is that you want to mo motivate them around. And it could just be, um, wouldn't it make sense then that we get together and talk about a game plan for making that happen? or you know whatever it's it's and then and then that's the close what time works for you i've got time this afternoon and play it cool like you know like not this in your face sales talk <laughs> stuff so it's not yeah. that it's yeah, not frame, that. yeah framing the appointment is like hey we're gonna we're gonna get together we're gonna have a conversation it's gonna be fun right not like i'm coming to list your house well and, mi and mirror and match michael so so if someone's not you know crazy, you know, excited, you know, person, you got to meet them where they are. You can't, you can't be crazy and excited when someone isn't, when your person, the person you're speaking with isn't. So um, make sure you mirror and match them when you do. But getting back to the golden letter, yeah. you know, the, the bottom line is, is that um, you can, you can do these. And by the way, you can find these on the internet. It's not hard. You know, there's all kinds of them out there. Um, and, but that line, simply put, would you be interested in selling your home to a client of mine? The, if, you can, if you can show somebody an offer that didn't get accepted, or if you can name a name, my client, you know, uh, Jane Doe, uh, loves this neighborhood and is looking for a house in the neighborhood. She just made an offer on your neighbor's house for $450,000, and she didn't get it. And, they, and don't, don't keep talking. Mm -hmm. Just let them think about that $450,000. <laughs> and then say, you know, I'm, it's, a, it's, totally, it's a total you know, swag here on my part, but the, I'm wondering is maybe your house is a match. And you think, and then let them think about it and say, and then say, well, then, you know, if it is, maybe it is, so why don't we get together? It can't hurt. Maybe I can help you achieve your goals and, and theirs at the same time. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is, is that it's a pretty simple conversation after that. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. So the, the keys are do it, answer the phone when they call <laughs> and use the phone call to get to the appointment. Yes. Yes. We're not, we're not, we're not selling houses with handwritten notes. We're getting appointments with them, which allow us to sell houses. Yeah. Let's be clear about this. This is a listing strategy, not a buyer strategy. You're not, you're not looking for houses for your buyers. You're right. marketing, you're marketing your buyers. This is a listing strategy. Okay. You may, you, you, I can guarantee you, you don't have the buyer for this house. Like you need to take that approach in my mind. And I, I can honestly say I didn't sell one of those 11 houses to one of my buyers. Mm -hmm. So it didn't work that way. It's a listing strategy. Right. I love it. I love it. Can you give us, uh, I know you've got a, uh, you got a hard stop at 1030. So I want to give you time to to decompress and, uh, and, and, uh, I'm running a hard. script practice. I'm running yeah, a script no. practice for my maps team. So, <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to let you, you know, one more time, I, you know, everybody who plugs into and leans into maps has tremendous success. And the, the ROI for you, I think has been, you know, equally high as what I've seen from everyone else. But I just wanted to give you a chance just to, to plug like, Hey, if I'm, you know, four, maybe $450 a month seems like a big number to me. Is there, you know, you mentioned this language of sales program. What are some of the other opportunities that I can just get some exposure, things that you would recommend if I, if I wanted to learn more about, about breakthrough or just other things through yeah. the maps path? Portfolio? You know, if you want to learn more about breakthrough, give me a, give me a shout out, send me an email, um, call me, I don't, I, you know, whatever, get, reach out to me and I'll, I will certainly, um, put you in touch with some people that, um, I mean, the, the program's tremendous. Now that said, keep in mind, I was spending money on leads. Mm -hmm. I am sure there are people on this call who are spending money on leads. And if you are, stop. You will make more money doing it 
the other way <laughs> and not spending money on leads. There's plenty, you have plenty of leads in your own database, let alone through these other strategies that I've just described. By the way, I don't do just one thing. I don't just do SOI. Yeah. I do expireds. I do past clients. I do golden letters. I do knock on doors. I do circle prospecting. I do farming. I'm doing everything I can to generate leads. It doesn't cost me anything for the most part. Mm -hmm. Until I start sending letters out or paying for maps, it's really legwork. Yeah. It's phone calls. Eventually, I, now I do, now I have Vulcan 7, I'm spending a little bit more money on that, but hell, even today, all of what I spend money on does not add up to what I was spending money on in the beginning when I was paying Zillow and another company called Bold Leads. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add up to anywhere near that. And I'm making more money, a lot more money. Well, and, and you're investing in, you know, through Maps Coaching in yourself, and through Vulcan 7, which is a dialer, you're investing in technology, which is your first form of leverage, right? right. And so right. those things you take with you into any of your lead funnels. Vulcan 7 helps you with circle prospecting. It helps right. you with your follow-ups, helps you with expires, helps you with FISBOs. Right. And your maps coaching helps you with your dialogues and your strategies and your implementation schedules, which will pay dividends, dividends. for years to right. come versus a deal. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm going to be hiring an assistant and that person will be able to use those technologies as well. Mm -hmm. So that investment now is spread out over at least two people and the, and the leads will be growing. So, you know, the, and, and by the way, uh, they will be absolutely growing because that's why I'm leveraging people. Right. Right. Um, and you know, that's your business model. That's the, that's the red book 101, right? So, um, the bottom line is, is that, um, I'm not spending, I'm spending less money and getting a lot more for it Wow. by doing what I'm doing. So just to keep, to keep that in mind. If you're, if you're spending any money at all on leads, or if you're not spending any money, if you're not doing, uh, enough business, mm. it's because you don't have enough leads. And how do you intend to go get more leads? If you're going to spend money doing it, you better have a tremendous ROI. Right. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. And the golden letter is a good example. Huge ROI if you do it right. Mm -hmm. And a very, you know, low cost, low, you know, you could do that once a week. Yeah. Yeah. Not even spend 500 bucks a month. That's amazing. Exactly. Well, sir, we are taking you right up uh, to your script practice. Thank you so much. This was fantastic content. Really appreciate you sharing. Guys, I would encourage you, if anything that Scott said, which I'm sure there's something for everybody on this call, if anything he said resonated, Scott, I know you're an open book. I know you love to give back and lean into the culture. I'm going to encourage everybody, drop him a line, pick his brain a little bit. And let's all help each other grow our businesses. Yep, let's do some business together. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, sir.